This series of videos is going to concentrate on mixing the audio from Renoise with the visuals of After Effects. So let's get started with something relatively simple. So in Renoise, load in the kick drum, a snare drum, change the pattern length to 32, put the BPM down to 80, rename the track names to bass drum and snare. Now insert a simple beat and render the song at 44.1 kilohertz, being sure to enable saving each track into a separate file. So in After Effects we'll import that audio and transfer it into the composition panel. Now silence the snare so that we can use the keyframe assistant just for the bass drum audio and you can take a look at the waveform it's just there and with the new object that we created with keyframe assistant once we've deleted the left and right channels we don't need those just use the both channels and the slider that's there in the graphics we can see that the keyframe values have been created from the waveform now let's create a new shape layer, a circle, hold down shift, so that is a circle and not an ellipse. We'll just move that up a bit. And what we'll be doing is tying the scale of this circle to these keyframe values that have just been created. And this is what will be done by pressing Alt on the stopwatch there. So allows us to use expressions and we'll use the pick whip to tie into the audio keyframes. And we'll just run a preview of this and you'll see there's a slight problem. We don't want this to grow from nothing. We want it to grow from 100% and pulse with each beat. So we'll insert into the expression here, 100 plus, and we'll preview that again. And you can see that's fixed it. And we'll just add some motion blur for the shape layer. And on the composition itself, we'll run a preview and that gives it a much nicer finish. Now, if you've used After Effects before, especially with the keyframe assistant, you might be thinking there's nothing particularly special about what we're doing here. And normally that's true. You would have a finished audio file and then you could use it to drive one aspect of the visuals. But because we're using Renoise and we're transferring each different track into a separate audio file, we can use the different audio files here, the bass drum and the snare drum, to affect different aspects of the visuals. So let's rename this object here to bass drum. And we'll solo the snare drum track, use the keyframe assistant on that and rename this new object to snare and what we'll be doing is tying in the position of the shape layer to the keyframe values that have just been created once we delete the left and right channels here the new keyframe values created from the snare drum audio we use the pick whip to tie it in again and that's created an expression for us here uh, now it's put it up into the top left corner. We only want this to move up and down, not left to right. So we'll take this value here, use the pick whip again, and get it to refer to itself. And I'll put it back in its original position. It's too far to the top, so we want to bring that down with an extra value of 350. And the keyframe values themselves are not going to be quite enough. So in the expression, we'll multiply this by 4. We'll turn the bass drum back on again so we can hear it. And uh, Once we've run the preview, you'll be able to see both aspects being affected by the audio. Back in Renoise, let's take this a little further by adding in some hi-hats. And let's put a delay into this track. Synced 1 and 3 will do it. And let's render that out. 
Back in After Effects, I've already imported and converted the hi-hat audio and we'll use it to drive an effect this time. Select Color Balance HLS, apply it to the shape layer and we will use the hue value. Alt click on the stopwatch, use the pick whip on the hi-hat slider and let's add a multiply by five so that we cycle through enough of the colors. We'll preview that and now you can see three different aspects of the visuals being driven by three separate tracks from Renoise. This was just a short simple example of how this works. We'll be going into more depth in the next video.